A lot of people have asked how to do a drag interaction inside Flinto. And Flinto doesn't have specifically a drag feature, but let me show you a way that you can simulate it. And there's various ways that you can do drags for different situations. And I'm gonna show you one way here, but maybe I'll show you some other techniques in future videos. So I've just drawn a rectangle in the upper left corner, and I'm gonna put a behavior on it. So I'll click Add Behavior, and you can see the white rectangle here that represents the screen frame. I'm gonna make a new state and drag this over to the opposite corner. You can imagine this kind of like the interface you see if you use FaceTime, where you can drag around your own avatar, your own view of yourself into the different corners. All right, so from the initial state, I'm gonna make a link on that box that goes to the new state using a right swipe. And then on the new state, a link going back to the initial state using a left swipe. All right, I'm gonna open the preview and try this. So now I can drag it over there, drag it back. If I only drag a little bit, it snaps back to its original position. Now let's add an additional state. Let's make one where it's down in the bottom right. So how do we get there? From this state, I'm gonna make an additional link. And you can do that with shift and then create link, or you can uh, choose add gesture here in the inspector. But this is gonna to go to this third state using a down swipe. And from there, from that third state, um, I'll have an up swipe going back to the previous one. Now I'm gonna name these. This is uh, upper left, upper right, bottom right, Let's open the preview and make sure that what I've got now works. So I can drag this down, drag it up, over. Cool. So that's just one example of a way that you can simulate a drag using swipe gestures. And when you do this in the behavior designer, it's really easy to have a single object move around when you drag it. And it pretty accurately simulates a drag effect. But of course, it's not a free form drag in all directions. I'll show you how to do that in a separate video using scroll groups.